Greetings, YouTube. The nature of the human condition is to do the opposite of what you just did. And I was stunned that I was so close to getting the five-star feature champion from the five-star arena. I've never gone for the new champion, but there seemed to be, if anything, negative hype surrounding Immortal Hulk. And, um, and so I just casually grinded for him with just my six stars, essentially, last uh, arena round. And I missed him by just a couple million. I put up 33, and he went for about 35. So I have this goal. I have 3,000 units, $100 worth. Thanks, a huge shout out to KJ Hawks for uh, my budget next week. And my goal is to get to three, uh, well, not really three, 30,000 units, I should say, by Cyber Weekend. 30,000 units. And so it's going to go down to 21,000 units. And so I'll need to open at least 9,000 units for Arena Crystals. So the more arena grinding and I feed my addiction, the better. And so I just decided to feed my addiction this uh, past three days with just my four stars, uh, really, once. But the rest, five sixty fives, rank four five stars, and my six stars. And to see how many points I could get to. Well... I placed in the top 10% of a couple of arenas, top 25% in the others. But this, for the first time, was a top 200 new featured five-star champion arena grind for my account. And maybe he's going to turn out to be the science version of Diablo, where nobody uses him and everybody makes fun of him. I have certainly heard from some of you who think that my excitement at all for Immortal Hulk is not founded in <laughs> logic and reality. But I think he's got some good utility, and I think uh, maybe as the game progresses, particularly with new nodes, he could be valuable. And I am all about talking about how when you build your roster, you want to build like the Swiss Army Knife collection. You want to have different champions that have different purposes to fight different nodes, that you can bring onto your team that are ranked to max. This is another reason why my man Triumphant, shout out to my friend as always, uh, recently took to 565 his five-star awakened abomination just for certain nodes. And I never thought I would see somebody so excited to do that, and yet it made perfect sense. So we are going to claim Immortal Hulk. I'm pretty excited about that. And on top of that, I will show you I talked myself out, and I'm actually thankful I did, of grinding any tonight. So, or this morning, I should say. So, before uh, Thursday morning, I stopped my arena grinding. So, this was just Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And in that time span, I have 72 six stars and like 30 plus five stars. Or 30 plus rank 5 5 stars, I should say. I'm so delirious probably from the lack of sleep due to the arena that uh, I'm mincing my words. But I put up 47,304,237. So I can actually use myself for uh, <laughs> some arena data for anybody who keeps track of that. So maybe he went for 42 or 43 million. I don't know. But it certainly was a lot higher than 35. And I expected that to be the case. I'm just somebody that continues to believe that the best thing to do is to hoard units for Cyber Weekend. And I'll be coming out with a video tomorrow that so many people have asked for. And I'm finally going to record it on what the offers look like in the past to try to see what we think it's going to happen in the future. And I just want to say that uh, in terms of my arena grinding addiction, I'm going to end this by showing I have 2,860 and really, I can add on to that at least another 10. Uh, 2,870 Arena Crystals. My goal is to get to at least 3,000 by Cyber Weekend to open 6 million battle chips worth of Arena Crystals to get myself at least 30,000 units. I think I've got a good chance, given the math, but you just never know how the algorithm is going to treat you that day. Well, there you have it. I did it. Well, I end up feeling like a huge loser who grinded for a champion that ends up being like Joe Fixit quality. Maybe. Or maybe he will gain value even with new synergies as time goes on. Either way, I always told myself that I would want to be top 200. And thank you to Kabam for the uh, extension of arena cutoffs because I would have missed him still by 
40 spots in the old one. It would have been top 150 and it would have been 190, but instead I safely made it with 110 spots to go and my name's in the top 200 leaderboard. Yay, Arena Addiction. <laughs> Thanks for watching, YouTube. Have a good one.